you guys learned something from it. So if you want to see how I made this wig, just keep on watching. First thing I'm doing is I'm showing you all the products I used. Obviously, you will need some hair. I'm showing you my styrofoam cap that I got from my local beauty supply store. My uh, stand, my wig stand, local beauty supply store. My clips, Sally's Beauty Supply. My scissors, Walmart. My needle and thread, local, local beauty supply store. And comb, local beauty supply store. Okay. Now, um, also, I use a spandex cap because I have a big dome. And then this is optional, um, but I use T-pins or wig pins to secure my cap to my head. Now I'm just putting the cap on and then I'm securing it with the wig pin. Um, and I'm not, I don't think I showed that on camera, but that's what you got to do. Then I'm going to take my thread and put that through the needle hole. And you probably can't see this. It's so hard to get that in focus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double weft it just so that it's very, very secure when it goes through the track and so that nothing falls apart. Then I'm going to tie a knot at the end of that. And you do this so that um, it goes doesn't go anywhere once you pull it through. The thread doesn't go anywhere. Then I'm going to begin to put that through my track and I'm just showing you where I'm going to start and end it. Put the hair through. I'm going to put it through the cap first then through um the weft i'm struggling right here through the weft <laughs> pull it through and then i decided i wasn't going to show that whole part because it's going to take forever so i just it would be tedious so i just put on the whole bundle and then i'm going to start from the second bundle and show you how i went from there and that's how it's looking so far with one bundle on then i am showing you starting my second bundle i'm going through if you look carefully i am going through the wefts i know a lot of people say they don't they don't like going through the wefts i go through the wefts because if the hair is good it shouldn't be shedding so um i'm going through the weft um going through the um cap and then through the weft pulling and then repeating through the cap through the weft pulling through the cap through the weft pulling and then you'll just see how I do it here. Now what I'm doing as I'm entering um, the middle of it is um, the middle of the wig. I'm going to wrap the thread around the needle and then I'm going to pull it through to tying a knot just to make it extra secure. And then I'm going to keep on the regular process until I reach the end. Okay, now I'm, as I'm reaching towards the end of the track, I'm tying knots towards the middle. Um, well, I'm tying the knots again just to make sure it's secure at the ends um, because that's where you want it to be the most secure so that it doesn't fall over. And then I'm doing flipping it over and then starting again. I, 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 
Now that I've reached towards the top of my U part, um, I'm repeating the same process. I'm going through the wefts, but the only thing I did differently was that I started to cut the wefts um, towards the top so that everything lays flatly, and that's very essential in this step. Um, I'm not, I don't think I showed it, but that's what I did, and then the rest is. <laughs> for watching please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel go ahead and follow me on all my social networks listed on the screen and i just hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it <laughs> thank you again